Hey guys, Brian here from Korg South Africa. Today I'll be looking at the Korg Electribe uh, music production station. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into it, just a few basic functions. Um, but what I just want to mention is um, it does come with a power supply in the box, uh, but it also uses batteries for, you know, on the go uh, productions and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty easy to use um, uh, uh, production station. Um, so I'm just gonna get straight into how to make a quick uh, a beat using this device. So, firstly, um, it's got about a twenty uh, uh, user sort of uh, pattern. Um, uh, presets uh, with preset sounds okay but it does give you the option to change sounds using this oscillator button so you select um, for example this pad it's got a kick on it right now if you just turn that you just basically scroll through the different uh, type of kicks that it has okay that's pretty much how to change sounds uh, but if you press shift you scroll through the different libraries so those are saws okay piano um sub kick sub beef okay so i'm just gonna leave it on that kick uh you've got a snare there and you can change to different sounds different snares okay okay and that's pretty much how you change your sounds you just use that that oscillator uh, knob right there. Okay. Now, also one thing you should note is when you select a pad, all these um, functions now apply to that pad. Okay. So if I select that one, now all the functions apply to 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 that pad. So whatever I've selected see the light these functions now apply to that pad so what you have here is you've got pitch okay that's basically the pitch of the of the sound that you've selected edit sort of does different things depending on on which sound you've selected okay see okay then you got resonance Okay, just gonna change that to change that back. Okay, that's your resonance. Okay, then we've got a filter. You've got high pass, low pass, but uh, I'm just gonna focus on the low pass filter for now to show you how that works. That's your low pass filter. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. That's pretty much how that uh, works. You've got depth here. Um, attack okay that's amp level basically how much of it you want it to how much of, of the effect you want to come through okay then we've got different effects here Okay, that's how you scroll through the, the different effects. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to switch that off for now. And then um, another thing I want to show you guys is the sequencer. Okay. Basically, what the sequencer allows you to do is create little quick sequences. Um, you know, if you want to play along maybe with some other uh, keyboard or, you know, another instrument, basically what you go is you, you trigger the instrument you want to work with, so that's the kick. Then we have a basic uh, sort of um, uh, uh, sequences on these 16 pads here. So what you do is you just press, you press play, okay? And then you can create...
quick pattern. Okay, all right, that's that's what my kick is gonna do. Now I wanna put in the snare, right? So I've triggered the snare. I press trigger, trigger the snare. Go to my sequencer. Okay. Now I wanna put in a hi hat. Okay, that's my hi hat. Let's add a clap. Okay, nice little clap there. Um, I'm just gonna add something else as well here. Let's see. Uh, select ray. Okay. Okay. Go to sequence. So that's basically how your step sequencer works. Um, you could also record. Um, you can also record some stuff in, as well. Let's just erase everything. Clap. Just gonna quickly erase. There's my. Yeah. Okay, so now I've erased everything, there's nothing playing. Uh, you can tap in your tempo. That's the tempo I want to play at. Um, so besides tapping it in, you can also um, go to menu and sort of set what tempo you want um, like that. Okay. Just press exit. So with recording your own beat, you put it on trigger, okay, and then you press record, and then you just play it in. Okay, so it's going to loop just like that. Now I'm going to put in a snare, okay. And it's going to keep looping. Put in a hi hat. Okay, it's gonna keep looping. Okay, then I'm just gonna go. It's a quick basic beat. Um, you can also mute certain parts. So if you go to part mute, you can sort of, uh, for example, we have the ooh there. I can mute it. I can mute the kick. All right. Hi hat's gone. Bring it back, and you can sort of mess around with it. Um, with your, with your set as a DJ or whatever the case. And uh, that's pretty much the basics. Um, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool device. Before I go, I'm just gonna show you how to erase stuff. So you just go to part erase, okay? And you just hold down the part you wanna erase. Okay, there goes the kick, no more kick. I wanna erase the hi-hat, just go and hold it down. It erases it. I wanna erase the ooze, erase the snare. That's pretty much everything gone. And that's basically how you use this little device. Very easy to use, very quick, very straightforward.